Hello, my name is Martin, and in this video, let's discuss how to fix the msvcp140.dll error if this file is missing or unavailable in your system. And now let's go to the first method, Microsoft Visual C++ installation and reinstallation. I will start from the method which must fix the problem on the system level. If it doesn't help, we'll move to the next method, which may be difficult to novices, but I will show you how to avoid any problems with it. And in the end, I show you one special method which can fix the problems just in a few clicks. Stay tuned. Method 1. Reinstall the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. In this guide, I will use a specifically designed software which automatically checks for the availability of the requested DLL file in the root folder. To use it, I just need to specify the selected part of Microsoft Visual C++ here in this file with parameters. To begin, make sure the Visual C++ RP 2015 is installed. To do this, click Win plus R, enter app with .cpl in the line and click OK. In the list all entries, find the one named Microsoft Visual C++ 2015. If there is none, good, we almost find the root of the problem. If you found it installed, delete it. Click on it and press uninstall to complete all uninstalled steps to clean your system from all the Visual C++ copies. Now we need to download Visual C++ 2015 from the official website. To do this, open the browser and find it with Google Microsoft Download Center. Or you can enter manually microsoft.com slash download in your browser address bar. Then open the built-in search and enter there 52685, the code of the page with the last version of Visual C++ 2015. Select the preferred language and version of the page and click download. If you don't know your processor's uh, bit depth, here is a little life hack. Open the Explorer, find this PC and select properties in its context menu. If the system type string starts from the 64 number, then you need the x64 version of Visual C++ 2015. In all other cases, take the x32 version. When the download will be finished, run the installer and complete all steps. At the end of installation, close any other programs and reboot the PC. The last step is optional, but I recommend you to complete it too. After reboot, also reinstall your third-party software, as sometimes it may have problems with detecting newly installed DLL files. If the error disappears, then everything is fine. You can now use your software and give us a like. To make sure, I will launch my test software and Yes, it detected the right file. But if it didn't help or you want to go deeper in this topic, then let's go to the next solution. Method 2. Manual msvcp140.dll installation. The second way to fix the error is to find and replace this file manually. To truly check this method efficiency, I'll exclude Windows folder from the search process in my testing software, adding this parameter. So to replace the msvcp140.dll file, let's describe its original file characteristics. This is important to know because intruders may mask their malware files as legit DLL like our file. As a rule, it can be located in the system32 system folder c slash windows slash system32. Also often it is available as part of other third-party software located in the program files folder. Despite the use source, file name must be equal to the text in the error message. The msvcp is an abbreviation of technology which it implements, Microsoft Visual C++ package, while 140 is the version number of the package, in our case redistributable package 2015. Its file size is unstable and depends on the used processor bit depth, x86 or x64 OS version and C++ package. For example, in Windows 7 64-bit version it will equal 608 kilobytes, while in 64 Windows 10 only 580 kilobytes. Also, all versions of this file are signed by Microsoft Corporation. This means that the digital signature for this file was generated by the same certification authority as for the Windows system files. If your file doesn't have such a signature, most likely you are using non-original and modified files 
by unknown authors. The same if any other properties differ too. Okay, to replace the file, you must find its relevant copy. Let's launch search both in Windows and Program Files folders and until we are waiting for the end for search, I will show you how to download this file from the internet. It may help you if the search on the local machine won't be successful. To find this file, go to Google and type in download msvcp140.dll in the results, I will choose dllfiles.com because different versions of this file are available. As a rule, it is better to select the newest version, although if your program returns errors, you may try to replace the file with an older version. To get the file, click download, wait for your view and unpack it in the local storage. Now let's back the search results. As you can see, since I've previously installed Visual C++, I already have the relevant file in my system. And the last step, copy selected file to the problematic software root folder. Also we can add copies to its subfolders to make sure that its execution file finds it. Now that's all. Let's check it and you see that it helps to solve the problem. Method 3. Driver Boost. The third method is easier than the previous two. There is a type of software called Driver Updates, which as you can guess is designed to find and install drivers. Yet one of them, called Driver Booster, along with drivers also includes typical software for gamers. It is the programs like DirectX, uh, XNA and Microsoft Visual C++ starting from its uh, 2008 year version. To use it, just install Driver Booster and start scanning. Click the corresponding software and click update. With this software you can avoid long searching and install Microsoft Visual C++ and Drivers Plus you can get a lot of additional features like drivers backup, system boosters and others. In the description below you may find a driver booster with a special discount from us. Also I'd suggest subscribing to our ITU channel to find our full review of this software as well as stay in touch for more software related content. Thanks for watching and goodbye!